On this episode of NSFW, we are joined by Jeff Kanata. He reveals a big epic project. We discuss the summer movie draft and a challenge is laid down for this Saturday, March 9th at the Eastern in Austin, Texas. Will this be my last episode on the NSFW show? We'll find out. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 168, recorded on Brett 4th, 2013, Swamp Thing. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create a professional website, blog, portfolio, and now an online store. Check out their new commerce solution so that you can start selling stuff immediately for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase on new accounts. Go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW3. And by Ting. Ting is a new mobile phone service that makes sense. Save money with Ting. Pay for what you use, doesn't require a contract, and offers unlimited devices on one pooled plan. To save $25 on your first Ting device, visit nsfw.ting.com. That's right, nsfw.ting.com. You know what? You know what, Justin? 50 years from now, no one's going to look twice when humans are marrying dragons. That's right. Right now, You're it on seems the wrong taboo. Side I'll tell you what, not my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Not my daughter. Sorry. Can we just count uh, this as the opening shutting video? Shutting that down. Can we, can we just... Can, shutting you got it music? down. Can we start this I'll show? tell you what. She brings a dragger into my house. Oh, okay, yeah. Whoa, and it is go time for NSFW, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Webernauts. Webernauts. <laughs> <laughs> Webber Nuts, yes. we all know, explore. Traversing the internet, it's the Webber Nuts, 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 Nuts. Howdy folks, I'm Brian Brushwood, joined as always by my inevitable co-host, the other half of my unraveled Jimmy Webber testicle. Not. We seem to be caught in the cat video matrix, it's, star system. It's Justin Robert Young, how you doing, Jerry? We'll get out soon, cause we're the Webber Nuts. Hi, Brian. Can we call the show uh, when when everything crumbles the around? The Weber Nuts. Like like when we're Quick. homeless. When we're homeless on the streets, can we call the show the Weber Nuts? We're exploring the web, 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 yeah. web, web, web. I think web. that we have already called the show the Weber Nuts. Unfortunately, guys, uh, former Michigan basketball great Chris Weber's fans are called the <laughs> Weber Nuts. No! So... You want to know what? I'm going to call a fictitious timeout on that joke. <laughs> uh, hey, man, we're joined as all, uh, by our special guest, Jeff Kanata, who's joining us for no reason whatsoever. There's no, there's, there's no news to there's break. There's nothing special. Or is there? What? There's Hold nothing on. special. Let's get the Weber knots to explore it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we all know that the only reason the only reason Jeff's joining us is because he's here to talk about how he officiated Brett the Amtrak of Rounceville's wedding last night. Yes. And and by last night, I mean in the we, morning. We now finally have uh, Brett is Mr. Robinson. <laughs> yes, Mr. That's Katie right. Robinson. Uh, no, uh, and here's uh, to you, Mr. Robinson. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Amtrekker, of course, is not on because he's on some he's, form of a honeymoon, I Yeah, assume. no, yeah. He's, he's, I don't know, he's doing something. He's making who, them babies. Who cares? He had his day yesterday. Yeah. We all had to pay attention to him and Katie and pretend like they were somebody. But I'll tell you I got a, I got a very nice text from him today, so he clearly doesn't have, have enough on his hands that he can still text me. Exactly. No, I don't know, dude. No she is a Iron Man triathlete. Uh, but I guarantee. He also texted me, uh, he met my, my girlfriend, and he yep. texted me, uh, she's the best one yet. Yes. Nice. Which is weird implication that there's more to come. Uh, but, that's right. what we like to call a convertible compliment. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so tell us real quick. Uh, and let me say, let me say real quick, just to set the scene, you know, we talked before about how I got invited, invited to the wedding and I didn't know if I'd be able to make it. And yeah. through an awesome, perhaps the best mix-up in my life, 
it became clear that I was going. And, yeah. I, and so up I went. And so uh, we came and uh, we went to the botanical gardens. We're in the in, uh, surrounded. In UC Berkeley. Yeah. UC Berkeley, surrounded by redwoods. It was dead silent because there was so much uh, foliage I mean, listen, I'm going to put this in, in the most romantic um, way that I, I know how. Uh, <laughs> it was kind of like in X-Men 3. Yeah. When uh, Wolverine is very, fighting very Jean romantic. Grey. Yes, very in the romantic. in the woods. Yes. It's like that. Only, but it but was, they got married. But about two unions of souls into one. Yeah. Yeah. It, but, Somebody uh, asked me on Twitter uh, because of your picture, one of your pictures. Uh, did they get married on Endor? They did. Which they I thought did. was pretty good. Pretty yes. good. Ring bearer was an Ewok, and we all got a little misty eyed. And then we all sang Yub Nub. And then we did the ceremony <laughs> shooting in the head of the Ewok, which is how most of these <laughs> ceremonies end. Absolutely. And as we say, we say, never again, George. Never again, <laughs> George. We just kept shooting. It was great. And then Brian told the story of the previous two movies. <laughs> yes, uh, to the Ewoks, which to placated the Ewoks, them. Yeah. Yes. Uh, with all the voices and everything, and it was hilarious. Well, because I'm an android, yes. Exactly, because you're fluent in... In over six million forms of communication. Exactly. Yes. For those of you who don't watch Star Trek... <laughs> hey <-o. laughs> Well, uh, you can just go ahead and do one of those Jedi mind melds that <laughs> President I'm Barack you, Hussein Obama so far. That's up. not his fault. That's not his fault. That that is what happens when you give the same director both franchises. It's, it's gonna. Point. It's bound to happen. It's true. It's, it's a tough. Good point. I get all kinds of mixed up. Uh, hey, man. So, uh, real quick, uh, Jeff, you ran the wedding. You got yourself a certificate, all official, from the Universal Life Church. You, I did. Uh, you were in. It, the, the most beautiful setting I've ever seen a wedding in, and that includes anyone, including my own. It was amazing. It was electric and beautiful. Uh, how easy was that for you? I was a little nervous, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I, I'm a I'm a guy who's comfortable in front of people, and I I speak for a living, and you know, done lots of stage work. So that part didn't scare me. It was literally having the biggest moment of someone's life in my hands and not just someone up. like it almost would have been easier if this was just a gig that you were doing right. like a somebody fan or somebody yeah. or something right yeah. two good friends two very good friends placed all of their hopes and dreams for the future <laughs> in my ridiculous hands and uh so, and, and also, was, you had like, just gotten back from, like, Barcelona, like, what, like, 12 minutes, hours earlier? Minutes earlier, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was a little jet-lagged. It was all a little crazy. But but um, it was such an honor. Like, I, I was really excited about the whole idea. And I, I was just – it was so thrilling to be given that kind of responsibility. And, um, and as nervous as I was, the fact that – Amazingly, both Brett and Katie were like really serene and not stressed out and both just, they really set the tone for the whole day and they were just very cool and collected and just wanted to have a great time. So we, we did, we had a great time. Well, I think that's part of what made it so adorable <clears throat> is there was almost like this kind of in the round, to be honest, it was not unlike an NSFW show and that you could tell people were kind of handing the conch around. Sure. Just sort of like, like, you know, I'm going to handle this part, I'm going to tell this story, I'm going to do this. And, and then, then somebody and what made do you a racist say? comment. Oh, and, yeah, like, and then before you know it, <laughs> yeah. the, the marriage dragon shows up yeah. and then Jeff gets all butthurt. He's just like, oh, that marriage dragon. <laughs> I like to do the marriages around here. You think it's a joke? <laughs> you literally think it's a joke? Uh, I didn't see him. He took my job. Dragon. He took my job, and you're it's still so funny. You're going to get all upset about it. It's like, oh, yeah. now I just didn't know we were going there. All right, I'm, I was just saying. I'm just saying it's real professional. Listen up. Real professional. Listen, right. Look, don't get racist, it's, all right? We already talked about this. Don't be your maker. Time we're we're making listen, I don't know why you apparently need to be the best friend of draggers everywhere. All right, look, uh, Jeff, we had hoped that there would be an announcement that we could make on the show, that um, there would be something yes. big that you were working on that we had hoped that maybe would have appealed to the fine denizens of chat realm, to the people who have made so many dreams possible, whether it's Ali Spagnuolo's Power Hour, whether it's my Scam Stuff project, whether it's Scott Johnson's Nerdtacular 2012 and 2013, whether it's uh, yes. Bill Duran's work. They're, these guys make dreams come true, and we really hoped that you would have some kind of dream, some kind of way to... Some might call it a way to carry the torch, but we could definitely say that there's not. Is no, that there's no. 
And let's go back to the ad dragon. I think he's a real flaming. <laughs> all right, hold on. This is <laughs> this... cool it on the game. Here's... All right. What? What, Jeff? <laughs> I say we say screw it and we just go ahead and announce it right now. Whoa, there's no whoa, place whoa, 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 Are you saying there's something? This is pillow throwing news. <laughs> this is pillow talk with Brian and Jerry. Exactly. <laughs> this one came back, which means it's haunted. Oh, geez. Are you saying that there's like real news? Did we accidentally talk into real news here? What? Well, there's there's the news that there will be news. <laughs> okay. Well, we can go. well, all right, all right everybody, all right. calm down. As we all know. Calm down. Somebody don't cue the belt music that will dance around. <laughs> don't cue it up. Cue right. it up, though. Here's the thing. Whenever you find out there's news, that means it's time for speculation. Yes. If you don't mind, Jeff, don't We're tell us the news. speculate on a lot yeah. of things. <clears throat> all, right, all right. I would like to speculate that Jeff is about to nance his new... He's nancing it. He's nan... Nouncing. Nouncing is different from nancing. No, no, no. That's all right, like, don't try to announce a nouncer, all right? No, no, no. That's like, like, you don't just announce it. You're nancing it. All right, you get nasty nance. <laughs> nancy nance. In fact, that's what I believe the project is going to be called is Nasty Nansen with Jeffy C. Okay, and what's it going to be about? Every episode, he comes in, and it's the same funky tech music and it starts off with fly booty hoes dancing all around okay and then there's like one of those <laughs> by things. fly booty hoes you mean like they have butts I mean, that dragons. resemble flies yes they're dragons because they've got wings on it fly right? booty hoes are actually right flying around. back to there they do that effect <laughs> that they do in movie trailers where stuff like speeds up and slows down yeah and then all of a sudden like, 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 like a Zack Snyder yes action. exactly so it swoops yeah. in and and he spins Boom. around in a chair he's got a cigar and he goes I'm nasty dancing it. <laughs> and then, boom, Smash got the title. It's a bunch of singing and dancing, and Justin Bieber shows up only to give a high five once per episode. It's going to be amazing. All right, hold on. Wait, I have, to, I, listen, there's a lot of speculation that I've been picking up. I've got a lot of sources. I don't know if you know, Brian, but I got a degree in newspaper journalism. Oh, did you? So I've, I've, I've just, I've I certainly a wouldn't lot of know sources. it. Yeah, like, and I've, I'm, I'm getting my sources right now. Oh, you are. Yeah, they're all, right. all communicating to me. Okay, all right. And what I can officially report is that Jeff Kanata is opening his shockingly handsome man modeling school. Handsome man <laughs> modeling yeah. with Jeff Kanata. It's called it's called the Jeff Kanata has from... symmetrical features. Modeling school. Uh, right, to set it apart like from all those other and it says, all those also looks like models. Nathan Drake. Yes, exactly. And what he does is uh, it's going to be also a podcast yes. where he just has people uh, walk up to him. Yeah. And he has a little tape measure, and it's a precious, <laughs> tiny little tape measure. Right. That, but it, like, it looks ornate, like you'd get it from a artisanal shop. Yes. And he measures out how symmetrical all of the features are. But then... And then, and then every episode... <laughs> It takes the entire episode. It's a 50-minute episode. I believe it. you got to be Measuring very meticulous. Measuring meticulously sure. silent, yep. right? Yeah. No. <laughs> and then, and then they, they walk away. But, and then, like, that's the end. But then there's, like, a, a, a flash cut, and it goes to the breakdown, and, and there's some host, uh, pretty sure it's, it's Alex Albrecht, who says, Wow, <laughs> dude, you almost had it. <laughs> and he said, Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> what do you think you needed? And then they get, they get, you look to the camera and he says, No way, do the first line again. <laughs> Dude, uh, amazing. <laughs> you almost got it this time. And then he says, What do you think you needed? And they, he says, And then the um, ugly person goes, goes <laughs> I <th> Browse. <laughs> and they're like, I think I needed it to be a little oh, more dude. symmetrical. Probably, probably wouldn't have hurt if I looked a little more like Nathan Drake. Quarter killed me. <laughs> uh, okay, which of us is closer? Um, well, I, I like the idea. I like both ideas actually more than what I'm actually doing. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I have to actually say that what it is, is that, uh, I am going to be, um, marrying a, a dragon and a human, uh, <laughs> for the first time. It's a big moment for me. It's a big moment for weddings. It's a big moment for Proficients right. everywhere, and really a big moment for dragons. Okay, this is great. We now got Which the truth. What? We got each of our speculation. Now let's play a new game. The new game is called <laughs> "What Would the Audience Actually Pay to See?" <laughs> because we all have we all have what we want. Sure. But if you ask me, I think. 
that a lot of people really, really dug the Totally Rad show. So whatever it is, I feel like, because you notice, I don't know if you noticed, Jeff, uh, they used, you guys used to do the Totally Rad show, but you're not doing it anymore. Did you notice that? What happened? I did notice that. I did. I woke up today and I was like, feels different. Feels <laughs> weird. All right. So, so but, 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 well, and I'll just say this, that like, um, and it's uncomfortable to even talk about, but like, there's a lot of people who are not doing well in the absence of the totally rad show that there was a part of their lives and well, i'm one they, of those people uh you for sure you, you see uh, a rise in crime <laughs> uh with people who just they have a hole in their soul and and they can't fill it so they've been taking to raping and murdering oh, around wow. the country. so it's like we need a show that would bring back the empty hole left in and the pro but, but here's the yeah, problem they man. just fill it in yeah, yeah. The, the problem is you know, uh, Dan Trachtenberg, I don't know, you hear a little thing, he's directing why the last freaking man exactly. kind of a thing. Yeah. I know. Alex Albrecht. Which is weird that he changed the title to that. Show but I think it works. Hosting a handsome boy modeling school. Uh, Alex Albrecht is now working on <laughs> Nasty Nansen. <laughs> on Nasty Nansen. <laughs> um, they're That's all right. busy. There's nobody left who wants to, there's nobody who loves loving things. And this is what really just, there's too much cynicism. Whoa, hold on, somebody loves loving things. What? Are you gonna give love a chance, Jeff? I'm gonna try, I need some help though. Hmm. Why? <laughs> so I should just come out and say, uh, we ho we're hoping that it would be launched already, but I'm launching a Kickstarter for a new show that will hopefully be my new version of what the what the Totally Red Show was, bringing it forward, making it bigger, making it better. Me doing it. All right. Wait. So, what, so, are you saying that you, Jeff Kanata, are going to carry the freaking torch of Totally Red Show and bring back what was rad about TRS for everyone? You guys say it so much better than I do. Yes, Whoa! that's the goal. That's the goal. Show us the chat room. Look at this! Look at this! Play the, the belt music. song! This is amazing! Are you kidding me? Look at Here's this! I, <laughs> they're saying all my money! Uh, they're saying woo! They're this shouting This is where I should be words. giving a URL to go to, but they're I don't have dollar one. Bill, they're saying dollar bill, y'all! They're saying freak out! F my face, I saw! <laughs> Which I assume is a positive thing. I'm just saying, uh, man. Uh, okay, so uh, can we, can we pull the curtain all the way back? Yeah, don't forget this uh, feeling you're feeling right now tomorrow when the Kickstarter actually goes up. Um, yeah, now this is one of the- We are seeing right now quotes, please rape my bank balance. <laughs> <laughs> my pants just got too tight. <laughs> oh yeah, bad, <laughs> splashing money on my face. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. Let's 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 real quick. Uh, let's get totally personal here um, and and talk Violate about. Violate my ear. Okay, I don't even know what that has that to do mean, with that this. Means, that means say whatever you want and, <laughs> and be in charge. Uh, look, Jeff, uh, you and I have talked about this, and you had expressed that you wanted to make this happen, uh, and that that you yes. you understood why Totally Rad Show had to end, but that really you loved it, and if you could, you would just keep doing it forever, right? Yes, and I and you were the person who said, well, hello, there's a way to make that happen, Jeff. Don't be an idiot. If you want to make the show, you should make the show. Yeah. Well, and and uh, uh, what's, what do you hope to be the same? What do you hope to be different? Well, I, I want the, the feeling, the enthusiasm, the passion that we had covering all the same topics, movies, video games, comic books, TV shows, but covering more stuff going farther, doing more. Uh, I want to have a rotating guests. Hopefully both of you guys will grace that show. What? Um, well, yes. And, and as we talked about it, you know, there's ways that you can frame these things. <clears throat> and uh, the, the people full of self-doubt is like, you know, oh, well, it's just totally rad show, but only with one of the three hosts. You could look at it that way, but I think the much more realistic way is to realize it's totally rad show with, because Alex and Dan are gonna show up on it. You're gonna have exclusives, you're gonna have inter interviews in there. But the fact is you have so many more amazing friends. You're so connected in this industry. You have comic book creators and video game developers and, and, and people who love video games and review them with you. Like you are everybody's friend on the internet. And like a show with the linchpin 
of everybody who we like absolutely uh, would be think about how much more you could cover in this kind of thing yeah that's what i'm excited about i'm really really excited about doing more taking the show in some fun exciting different places uh you know going on tour with the show i'm really excited about the, the possibility of that i mean honestly dan and alex weren't much for travel, so I'm, uh, you know, I'm all always excited about trying to go travel and go to more conventions around the country, do more. Well, uh, well. I'm excited about the possibility of of making the show. You know, totally retro is awesome, and I love it, and it'll never, ever, you know, it'll it'll have always have a place in my heart. But I think this this could really be take it to the next level, and and um, I'm really excited all right, about so here, the possibility. Jeff, let, yeah. Let's let's lay out all the deets here. Yeah. Kickstarter tomorrow, most likely. Um, yeah, unless they magically do it tonight. We're hoping. We're just waiting for, for confirmation from right. Kickstarter. Yeah, well, so, so the good news is we are minutes the away vast no majority of people, The vast majority of people who are listening to these words right now are listening to it on Tuesday the next morning. So if you are, so if odds you, are, yeah. it's okay. going to go. Um, go right now. If you, are down, if you downloaded this podcast, go right now and, and, and donate to it. All right. The best place to get details on this is Jeff's Twitter. Uh, Jeff, give that out now. At Jeff uh, it's uh, twitter.com slash, slash Jeff Kanata. How do you and spell that is Kanata, two, though? Two N's and one T. So you're saying Kanata, two N's, one T. That's right. Man, that just seems like hooky, like two N's, one T. Two N's, one T. You should do something with that. Like, yeah, you should be on I, Jeff Kanata, two N's, one T. That sounds like a, a category of pornography on the internet. <laughs> two N, one T. Uh, Are you into that crazy two N, one T stuff? Oh, all right. Man. <laughs> Real quick. Can you leak to us? Will the show be called Canada Dome or will it be called Getting Canasty with Candidate <laughs> J? <laughs> Candidate that, J? That all depends on how many fly booty girls I'm able to afford. Because <laughs> I kind of like Getting Canasty with Jeff. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'll tell you what. And then here, let, let, let's just, before we, before we move on, uh, what are everybody who is, I know this thing's going to get funded in like seven seconds. Uh, what... I hope you're right. Are they paying for? Yes. Like, what will they get? Well, there's going to be a bunch of cool perks. I think you'll 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 like some of those uh, people who are listening. But the show itself, what we're hoping to do is create some pilot episodes. I'm hoping to make five pilot episodes and then take those out and uh, get them picked up somewhere that will be able to pay me to continue to do the show. Uh, you know, so that there really isn't a a break in you know we do five in a row and then hopefully by the time it's picked up and there won't be any break we'll just keep going for for years to come okay so uh two things first of all real quick cut to my screen here can we verify that this is or is not because we just need to clarify some stuff is this the name of the show is it the webinots the webinots with brian justin and jeff um i'm considering that type <laughs> It depends on how big of a uh, you guys want to come in on on your uh, on your Kickstarter. Wait, right? hold on, wait, wait, Jeff, let me let me ask you this: uh, You're doing four or five pilot episodes of this show. Yes. If this gets funded within a day, so I'm putting this on chat realm. Oh, separate, separate. If this gets funded within a day, will one of those pilot episodes be called the Webinots and be featuring me and Brian? Oh man. I, I'm willing to commit to that. <laughs> there we go. There we go. If it gets Move funded in one day. The webinar's a reality. <laughs> okay, so uh, a couple of things, though. Um, what, another thing is is we, we talked about, because you and I had, had spoken candidly about this stuff. Um, you were asking for how much money? You were asking the... to shoot it in space. <laughs> yes, why not? And I'm saying stretch goal. Stretch goal, yeah. Stretch goal. Stretch goal we hit 10 space. billion, we're there, right? We'll talk to <laughs> yeah. Elon. We'll make it happen. <laughs> so, uh... We talked about the structure of this, where it's like you you want to make five episodes, and this is what I really appreciate. This is not a, oh, well, I did five episodes and then the money ran dry. Like, you want a franchise here. What you want to do yeah. is start those first five episodes with so much momentum and so much quality. Like, everything over whatever it is you're asking, and, and hold back on what you're asking. We'll see it tomorrow. But whatever, everything over what you're asking, I think we you can announce, I assume, that all of that will go into increasing the quality of the show, right? Yes, that's the idea. Is that I want this to look and and feel far better than the Totally Rad Show ever did. I'm um, hoping to, to really up the quality quite a bit and and may, be able to do things that I wasn't able to do with, with that we we weren't able to do with that show uh, because we just didn't have the budget. And I'm really hoping that 
we can uh, get some people excited about it. And, and then these pilots will lead to uh, a much longer running, much bigger budget, much more awesome show now, than we you, were ever. Are you before. seeing this as more uh, the late, the later iterations of Totally Rad Show, or is a daily, more bite-sized thing, or more like? I think the, it's going to be. I think it's going to be a weekly show. I mean, that'll be something that'll uh, you know we'll discuss with uh, whoever wants to pick it up. Hopefully, hopefully. So what you're saying is, is so anybody it, who wishes you could go back to the Halcyon days of back when it was a big old fat weekly show and you dedicated yeah. an hour to it no matter what, you yes. that would be the type of person would, that should donate. It would almost be an admission that it was a horrifying <laughs> mistake <laughs> to ever split up what was already a perfectly awesome show. <laughs> the daily shows were great, guys. Come on. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. I love the daily shows. Okay. But yeah, the, the idea is that it'll be... Um, what TRS was originally conceived as a variety show and it turned into a variety week, uh, which I think was still great. But uh, yeah, this is this is definitely going to feel more like a variety show. And the more money I can throw at it, I, I really want to take that variety idea in a whole new way. I've been talking to animators to do maybe like like uh, Tracy Ullman used to do with The Simpsons and have sort of animated of course, interstitial. Yeah. Lots of crazy ideas are being thrown around. Um so this, this well, and I'll tell you, and, and cool. here's what I love about this because um, I think that, and and I am totally not even doing an NSFW show bit right now. I think that since TRS ended, and I mean Neither this, am I. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's no, this, I'm gonna ask you to put it on pause for All right. Uh, I think sure. since TRS ended, uh, as I have known you, Jeff, there's been a hole in your heart, and I think that for many people on the internet, including my assistant John Tilton, there's been a hole in his part. And the idea that we can make something happen that would make us whole and, and do something that deserves to be done, something that the internet deserves, I think is, uh, I, I am inordinately excited about this. So much to the fact that it's like, do me a favor, guys, if you're watching now, don't go breaking news, don't go bragging that you heard it here first or whatever. Do one thing. Think about your plan for how you're going to make the next step of awesome. Everything you loved about TRS, but with none of the restrictions that were on it before, with somebody that you love whose passion is unquestioned, somebody who, uh, somebody who can make tech and geek stuff relatable, who introduces you to more and awesome stuff, this is really gonna be something special. So instead, I mean this sincerely, like start thinking about how awesome it'll be tomorrow morning when you wake up and the Kickstarter's active and think about who you're going to talk to and what you're gonna say. Because uh, absolutely, and, and in that, we're getting a lot of comments right now in the chat realm. Is it gonna be on Revision 3? Is it gonna be on Twit? Jeff, you've mentioned that you wanna get it picked up uh, by one of the networks. Right. I'll just say this, that right now, from what I've talked to Jeff, there are no firm commitments. And Nothing. if you would like to see the Jeff Kanata super awesome project, currently codenamed Webernauts, <laughs> <laughs> I would be at replying the powers that be at these networks that you like and let let the voice of the people speak because that is what matters. You know what? I wouldn't even waste your time. If you want to, throw money in this guy's face. Oh, no, 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 of course. Yeah, no, 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 do that. Because that's, listen, this is going to happen. The money, the money's going to be there. But for anybody, there's a lot of people asking about it. Choose your own adventure, baby. Light them up. All right, I'll tell you what. We'll talk a lot more about this, but first we have to take a moment to talk about our sponsors who make the show possible. Well, I'm going to, I guess I got to leave then. Are you going to bring them in? I was, I, you're so defensive. I mean, he's waiting, he's, I don't know. I, I haven't, Ashley told me that he Look, was waiting, I, I he was don't waiting know. there, I don't so know. I just gotta leave. Do I gotta get this off? No, I'm just saying, I get Do I have it? I mean, that's fine. You, it's so weird. It's fine. You make it so weird. No, go, Brian. I was just, <clears throat> so awkward. He's marching off the set. All right. Look. From the beginning, one of the best sponsors of the show have been our fine friends over at Squarespace. And as you know, Squarespace is the perfect place for you to go if you have a website, blog portfolio, or any other kind of website. But now, guess what? They got commerce solutions as well. They make it possible for you 
to be able to create uh, your own business right there on the web. They, uh, they have awesome, amazing templates that scale. Like, you know, when you upload uh, photos, normally you got a whole problem where it's like you got you to gotta make it for appropriate for mobile or a tablet or on a PC or whatever. They do all that stuff totally automatically. And all you have to do here, let me see. Uh, I'm going to mention promo code. God, I'm just not as good at this as Woo! Hey y'all, it's me, the Ad Dragon, oh. bringing you another hot deal here from Squarespace. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, look, uh, Ad Dragon, look, Justin really, really has a problem with you doing Oh, hey, you, that ain't never need me, no, never mind. I'll tell you what. If you have any problem with him, sugar, you just dial up D-R-A-G-O-N. Okay, all right. So what you're saying is, uh, so, so you can take it from here. You, because I always get mixed up on the small points. I know that Squarespace is an awesome place that's super easy to make good-looking well, websites. Now, nah, hold on. That ain't nothing but a mess of grits and biscuits. What you need to know is just this. Squarespace is fast and easy to use. I know a few people like that. Hey, I'm just kidding now. Okay, it's Ad on. Dragon this is, here. Okay, this is what got Justin in trouble. Don't you get saucy on No, me. no, no. Hey, listen. Brian, it's easy to just keep it professional and clean. Take it from me, the Ad Dragon. It takes beautiful templates, 100% drag and drop functionality. Squarespace gives you better social media integration. You ain't never seen social media integration like this one, sweetie. It is amazing. Crisp, clean, like a butter. A sheen on a man's thighs. <laughs> okay, hold on. This is, this is uh, Ad Dragon. If you don't mind, this is you've, you've historically been very good about keeping it professional, but <laughs> mentioning. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with man's thighs. But it's a little weird. Just paint the picture, baby. Okay. Did you run up on Picasso and say, "Hey, dog, can you please stop messing around with that paintbrush? You're getting a little right. off the track." Just, get, just stick to the points. Let's read those points. Squarespace is exceptionally well designed, like that Jeff Kanata. <laughs> It has award-winning design team and user experience experts that lay out every template with hundreds of customization options available to change the grid layout, colors, and over 300 fonts and more. All right. Is, it, is there a what? promo code we should use at checkout? Oh, hell yeah, okay, right? Okay, and again with the language. Ad Dragon, listen, this is what got Justin in trouble. No, you come in, no, no, you've no, been no. great, and now right. I see you dropping the H? Hey. Brian. Yes. I've been doing this a long time. I know. Okay? I know. I just don't want to see you it's, get sloppy. This is why I'm concerned about you. It's the only reason I'm bringing this up. Brian, let me get through the ad here. All right. See, this is it's unstable. NSFW3 is the offer code that you're going to go ahead and use. You can go ahead and sign up for a free account. No credit card necessary, Brian. You don't need no credit card. Okay. You got a credit card on you? I, I do, but it's... cut them up. Okay. Doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. And don't forget about the free domain registration for annual plan customer subscriptions. Did you forget about it? Because you should. <laughs> you don't need to. I won't. I won't. Can, we, can we move on to our second segment? Well, okay, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Are you, are you done? Oh, yeah, All baby. Right. Dragon, I'm just sitting there. It's always lovely to have I'm you. just going to go. They got me back in the green Addy room. Addie ladies and gentlemen. Addie D. I'm just going to go back there. At, I've been having some sparkling Ad cider. Dragon on Twitter. Don't have sparkling. Hey, y'all. Ad this Dragon. Is, this is what, this I'll is. be back, y'all. Uh, Second uh, ad. This is, uh, okay, listen. Um, here's the thing. Normally, at this point, we would start playing a little game we like to call Kanata Dome. However... It's comprised of three things. First of all, we have a sounder that Justin made three years ago that goes, it plays Thunderstruck by uh, ACDC. It goes, Kanata! Back oh, when I used to do things for the show. Yes, okay. If that, he was drunk. You, you walk in. I mean, I'm just, we, listen, I'm not, I, like, I, I don't want to point out the professionalism of some people, but he's supposed to be the one who's, who's, who's clean reading the ads. <laughs> Got a little saucy, I'm not gonna lie. He's Guys, been drinking. This is I, I wasn't aware that it was uh, Tyler Perry's Ad Dragon Read. Uh, this is, I know, it, it I know. A little, it's a little, a little, a little, a little buffoonery. I think he should slap on some grease paint on his face and soft shoot through the edge. He's a little bit weird when he said he start, suddenly ta started talking about thighs and he dropped the H. He kind of cursed for the first time. Well, I mean, all right. Uh, what are you gonna do? 
Are you going to complain? Oh, now. Oh, before it was the professionalism. He, he's like the Mercedes Benz of ad readers. He just, uh, you, you can put ball bearings on his ad reads and they roll. Okay, all right. Like, are, you, are you done? I'm just saying, oh, now. Okay. All right. Why don't now you, it's now you it's feel a from the growler. Okay, so the question How about you have another drink, like your pal Ad Dragon? <laughs> He's not. He was a little loose. I'll grant you that. But, uh, but no. I just saw empty bottles of white wine. <laughs> White, white wine spritzers in the uh, in the green room back there. All right, all right. So uh, here's the important thing. Uh, Jeff, do you want to play in our uh, NSFW summer movie draft this year? Do you know, you, you have you played? Hell yeah. Game? Have you ever played? No, I've never, I've never played the, no, but I watch with uh, excitement every time you guys do. Well, okay, so this year we, we had an idea. We talked, uh, and right now, if you go to draft.nsfwshow.com, we actually have the slate, the tentative slate, laid out. And we encourage everyone to write us, uh, hit me up on Twitter, at Schwood, S-H-W-O-O-D, or at Justin R. Young, to tell us if there's any movies that you don't think are right. But man, this year's summer draft is going to be all over the place. We have so many, we just don't know. They, they could be bombs, or they could be blockbusters that destroy everything. We're ta- starting with Oblivion, Iron Man 3, The Great Gatsby, Star Trek Into Darkness. Well, I mean, and that would probably yeah. be the surest bet of the sure bets. Yeah, dude. The uh, first one made Iron a ton Man of money. The, the Hangover, Part 3, The Internship. Uh, and that's the thing. We were talking see. about the Iron, Iron Man 3 is very, very interesting because, like, normally coming off an underwhelming second movie, you would expect... But on, know, the, but on the flip the side, sin, the sins coming the off second of Avengers. Movie, yeah, but it's not coming off, coming off right. Iron Man 2. It's coming off the Avengers, which everybody thinks of the, the last time they saw Iron Man, they loved them, and that was only last summer. Yeah. Uh, Monsters U, uh, which is Monsters University, of course, a prequel yeah. to, to I, That's Monsters what we Inc. call it around in the hood, Monsters U. Monsters U, <laughs> U yeah. as the locals. <laughs> World War Z, which I obviously is nothing like the, uh, the actual book, but the trailer I thought looked exceptional, and if the success of Brad Walking Dead is any is anything to base off of Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim was amazing Which, trailer. I mean that that could be a supercharged District Nine. Mm. You know, a non-franchise, you know, big spectacle kind of movie that sort of takes America by storm. Because that's Guillermo del Toro, right? Yeah. And they got permission to do the exact effects for the Gladys. Uh, it's the same actress. And they overmodulated it to make her sound like Gladys. Well, apparently that was only in the trailer. In the, it was only in the trailer, but, yeah. but these guys are savvy enough to know to just throw a little. I would not be but surprised that's not at all. Driving box office. It, it drives. It drives enthusiasm though, which sure. may or may not. But who snakes on a plane? Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, like, like uh, uh, eliminate the Gladys factor. Like, are you telling me that geeks aren't excited about Pacific Rim? But that's that's what I'm saying, is that this is the kind of thing that grabs everyone's attention. And once you're watching it, you're still looking at interdimensional aliens versus giant robots, which is yeah. freaking rad, yeah. no matter how you slice it. Uh, Let me ask you this question, guys. Yeah. If you could only see one of these movies this summer, forsake all others, which one would it be? Kick I know what two. I would do. Really? Kick-Ass 2? No, I, no, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, Star Trek. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna read through all of them real fast, and everybody at home, you included Jeff, you included Justin, pick one. Oblivion, Iron Man 3, Great Gatsby, Star Trek Into Darkness, Epic, Fast and Furious 6, The Hangover Part 3, After Earth, The Internship, Now You See Me, Man of Steel, This Is The End, Monsters University, World War Z, White House Down, The Heat, Despicable Me 2, Lone Ranger, Grown Ups 2, Pacific Rim, Turbo, The Wolverine, The Smurfs 2, 300, Rise of an Empire, Red 2, Elysium, Planes, Kick-Ass 2, and Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters. I'll tell you what, by the way, Elysium, Dark Horse. Yeah, what, totally. what, what is the story of Elysium? Uh, it's Matt Damon as like a super bald awesome. Bald Matt Damon. Uh, like, yeah, he's like bald and like like a like jacked. Like, I don't even know what the story is necessarily. I just know that it takes exoskeleton. Like, yeah, it's like it's like in like a rim world or whatever. Like, it's awesome. All right, so really, I think it comes down to. I'm gonna guess that it boils down to Iron Man three or Star Trek Into Darkness. If you could only watch one of those, which would it be? I mean, or like you, there's there's also the scratch off of like, what if Man of Steel is uh, like, if Man of Steel is amazing. Never, I've never liked the Superman franchise. I'm just saying, like, that's my like pick. That, that, that's Man an important franchise. It is. I, it's culturally important. But like, am I the only one here who feels like 
Superman's just too much powerful. Like when you roll all twenties and you're just awesome at everything. But that's that's, the point? that's why Superman, when he's bad, he's awful. Is because like he is the living easy way out for a writer. Like it's just oh. And then he discovers that when he flexes his bicep, he actually does this. He warps time. Yeah. Like, he has time know, farts. Did we not mention that? There's just always going to be a reason why he can get out of something because of his physical capabilities. Yeah. But the best Superman stories keep and hold Superman to his... 3, when they put Tar in the kryptonite, <laughs> and he decides to mess up the world by straightening the Tower of Pisa. And then, like, and like he, yeah, he eats an best. apple and oh, he blows God. to yeah. screw up somebody's uh, project. No, that's not. I mean, Superman 3 is terrible. <laughs> Sorry. An inspired office space. That's all I'm saying. It certainly did. <laughs> Jeff, one movie. What is it? I'm actually very tempted by Man of Steel just because I want them to nail that character and I've heard really good early buzz. I want to nail I him think, to a wall. I think, it's, I think Star Trek is the safe bet. I think Pacific Rim... Pacific Rim or Man of Steel for me, I think, would be are the two that I'm most excited about. So I mean, but Wait, like Iron but Man like there, Three there's... didn't even make the list, really. I, Iron Man Three is going to be solid. It's going to be great. I'm excited about it. I I'm so I was so stung by Iron Man Two. Um, but this is Shane Black. I mean, like yeah. you know the the, the same dude uh, who uh, what was the other movie with Robert Downey Jr. and Val Kilmer. That that kiss other... Kiss Bang Bang. Sure. You ever see Kiss Kiss Bang Bang? No. I've never heard of any of these characters or actors or names. Oh my God. Who are you? Dude, How did you get in my living room? Light up Brian right now on Twitter and call him. Are you an serious idiot that you've never seen not... Kiss Kiss Bang Bang? Are you serious? I. It's on Netflix. Instant. Watch right. it now oh, is immediately. It? No, it's I'll awesome. watch that if it's, all it's of fantastic. you watch The Shield. Yes, if all of you commit to the 90 hour <laughs> Shield experience, I will watch the hour and a half Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Seems legit. Here's what, here's, let me justify my answer real right. quick. I, I think it is such a known quantity that's what Star Trek 2 is going to be. It's going to be it's going to be great. I think Iron Man 3 is a known quantity. It's going to be great. When I, when I have to pick one movie of the whole summer that I want to see, I like rolling the dice. I like the ones that could either be that are, that are such a question mark. Like I, I couldn't go through my whole life not knowing what it's going to be like to see a Zack Snyder Superman movie or a Guillermo del Toro giant robots versus giant monsters movie. Like I know what Iron Man three is going to deliver. Wait, I know what Star Trek two no, is going to no, deliver. Hold on, hold on, hold on, one hold on, let me let, 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 let me let me roll back just real quick because you right. said something earlier. Because uh, you're starting to see now. Uh, apparently there's like a, been a bunch of internal screenings for Man of Steel. And if, let's say, somebody lived in L.A., as Jeff does, and has a bunch of geek friends that are involved in the industry, as Jeff has, have you heard from people who have seen the movie? I have heard very good buzz, yes. And I've heard it is very action-packed, which you would expect from Zack Snyder. Yeah. So Here's no, the, I, I here's think, the uh, one... Sla Slash Film had a big thing about yeah. like that there it's basically like a Nolan story with Snyder action in the best way possible. Here's the one thing that I think does and it should not. Let me state completely fairly. This yeah. should not affect it, but I think it does. If I was only going to pick one movie, I care so much about how JJ Abrams will handle the Star Wars universe once he takes the helm that I would choose even though Understand, I Iron Man is my. We all have our one comic yes. book hero. Yeah, Iron Man has been my one comic book hero since I had chicken pox in the eighth grade. Yeah, uh, and it's like that is, that's my hero, right? I, in spite of that, I would watch Star Trek Into Darkness just so I could extrapolate and try to guess what I'm gonna see out of uh, the new Star Wars movies. And let me just argue... I like how you're watching a movie to guess about a different movie. Well, because that's what we love. We love to speculate and, and project and number one, what's going to be better that, in the future. That is less ridiculous than the current, like, multi-billion page view boom that has erupted around Star Wars rumors. Like, it is yeah. a, a chartable business to, like have a, a movie website that would just run literally any Star Wars rumor. So the idea that, hey, I want to go see the movie that the director of the new Star Wars movie has directed before is not the craziest thing in the world, considering the culture can we I, live in. Can I say something? Because I have not had a show to vent my opinion about this on. 
up to now. Make yourself so, at home, baby. Dude, did you ever, hey, yeah. real quick, Jeff, did you ever see a little movie called Swamp Thing back in the early 80s? I never saw the film version. No. That's all right. Let me, let, me fill you in. let me fill you in. Uh, the bad guy from Octopussy uh, sets fire to a scientist who falls in love after turning into a plant object, falls in love with one of the chicks from Cannibal Run, and there's a moment when the Swamp Thing got his hands cut off, chop, and he's got like the stump. <laughs> but he's like a plant man, you see? Oh Stay yeah, he's me. a swamp thing. Did no, you read that? You never did you read me. the Alan Moore. Stay with me. Thing? That plant yeah. man is Jeff Kanata. And he's had <laughs> he's got things he wants to express. He can't gesture with his TRS arm. It's been chopped off. All right? He's got a stump. <laughs> but there's a moment. That's right. There's a moment. This is a there's a moment in Swamp Thing. He's all chained up. Uh-huh. And the bad man from Octopussy is like kissing on his lady, <laughs> the chick from Cannibal Run. And but there's sunlight, but he can't reach the sunlight because he's <laughs> chained to a wall. And then Jeff Kanata <laughs> reaches up and he touches Kickstarter. You know what happens? I can't. That sunlight starts. No wonder you and Adra can get along together. You're both wasted. I, I uh, I'm just very impressed that you didn't pull a muscle with that analogy. That is. Okay. Uh... He reaches up and the sunshine of Kickstarter hits his hand. And you know what happens out of Jeff Kanata's stump? I'll tell you what happens. A little tiny <laughs> leaf comes out. And it turns into a plant arm and eventually grows. And Jeff Kanata has two hands. And he's so strong with the power of the Kickstarter sun <laughs> that he flexes. <laughs> and the chains break. And he rescues the girl from Cannonball Run. He defeats the bad guy from Octopussy, who later turns into a wolf man, and saves the day. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, so yeah, Jeff, what are your opinions about the summer movies? I forgot. No, um, I uh, I wanted to say something, but but it's not going to be able to follow that. It's just about Star Wars. You know that they're, they're talking about uh, individual Star Wars character yeah. movies. Yeah. I haven't heard anybody express the one character that I want to see a full Star Wars movie uh, based around. Let, Please let's, don't let, say let's, Boba Fett. Let's, let's, say, say, let, Boba let's Fett. say it at the same time. We're Are not you ready? friends if three, we say two, Boba Fett. Three, two, one. You're not going to say mine. Ready? You're not going to say one, mine. Two, two, one. Two, one. Max IG88. Rebo. <laughs> mine is the Scout Trooper. Huh? Who? The guy's on my, fi my favorite action figure was yeah. the Scout Trooper. It's no. the dude that rides the speeder bike. I want his story. Speeder bike guy. Like hanging out with his speeder, it's, it could be like a cop show where him and his speeder bike buddies are hanging out in the middle of Endor, like darting in between trees. Speeder bike, scout trooper movie. Dude, Do it. Make it. 100%. Are you kidding me? Yes. I mean, look, all of these movies. Uh, number one, I'm in on everything. All right. Can like, I'm not even kidding about a Max Rebo movie. Like, I would love to see, like, Dude, this him is... going around to various different cantinas, like, playing his tunes. This is what, this is what his exists, tunes. though. Like, like, Jeff, have you read all the expanded universe Star Wars fiction? I have only read the three Timothy Zahn books that came out in Timothy the 90s. Timothy Zahn books are great. Here's the thing. If yeah, you want a wide sampling handled with a bunch of different authors, what I recommend is read uh, Tales from Jabba's Palace, Tales from the Cantina, Tales from... Um, uh, oh, Tales of the Bounty Hunters. Those are all sh short stories written by some of the most accomplished science fiction authors out in the in the business right now. And this is what really made me feel betrayed by the way George Lucas handled the prequels. Is he took this <laughs> awesome they were startlingly and skull sl splittingly boring and stupid. Yes. Well. It, well. But. On top of all of that, he took the hard work of all like they yeah. they, they there, worked there, there so was a hard. beautiful ornate. Stuff with universe. these authors went out of their way to justify ridiculous notions like the idea of of uh, completing a Kessel Run in five parsecs or whatever it was, twelve, 12 parsecs, right? But uh, but but the Barack. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Because he had the Jedi mind meld thing. Did Barack... Did you read about that? No. What? No, he said Jedi mind meld. He said Jedi mind meld. Yeah, that's pretty good. There is a Jedi mind meld, so eat that. Well, That's from Jam. No, Reed there's right a now. Vulcan mind meld. No, there's Come on, also a and Jedi, Jedi mind trick. Mind meld. Yeah, there's Only a Jedi a Jedi mind trick, Vulcan mind meld. Jedi mind trick. Mind Je okay, Jedi mind meld, you're wearing a condom because it's safe. <laughs> the Vulcans be a little bit mm, on that. So, the important thing <laughs> what is... What is happening? These what is guys, happening right now? I have no idea. <laughs>
<laughs> these guys these guys wrote a bunch of uh, Oh, did you go Vulcan last night? <laughs> It's like, oh, baby, maybe we mailed it a little. Don't worry, it was Jedi style. I didn't go full Vulcan. I would never do that to you. Here's what I'm trying to say. Is... <laughs> what? Garrison Swamp thing? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, yeah. is that it was disrespectful of George Lucas to take the hard work of all the people who created the expanded universe and then just wave his hands and be like, not canon, blah, blah, blah. And then, and then do something else. Uh, what I'm hoping to get out of the Disney merger is to get all those stories because I've already read those. I read them in Tales of the yeah. Bounty Hunters. I read them in Tales of Jabba's House in the Cantina. Uh, and, or, and, and, or, or at least somebody else who wants to tell that kind of story. Kind and of, they that were kind amazing, of story. Yeah. dude. They were amazing. And it's yeah. like, if we have somebody besides George Lucas in charge, I'm convinced that, that we're going to get, as long as it's handled half as well as the Avengers. Well, there's just, too many, there's just too many people out there. I mean, like, if you want, and this is why getting J.J. Abrams was important for those, for the, the you know, episodes that they're doing, is because Star Wars is the science fiction franchise that gets anyone they want. Sure. That says, hey, the guy doing Star Trek, do Star Wars. <laughs> and he says, yes. Yes, exactly. I have to. There's nothing I can do. I, I'm helpless. He kneeled before Kathleen Kennedy and <laughs> okay. said, what is thy bidding, <laughs> my, my master? master? Of course. Uh, okay, so how do, we get, how do we get on this subject? I have no idea. Swamp Thing. Swamp, no, that was, you, that was my sojourn. You explained the entire plot of a terrible film. <laughs> it, was, it was actually... In detail. You needed to be in second grade when you watch it. I forgot to mention that part. <laughs> <laughs> because it was pretty rad when you were in second grade. But, uh, and we are all... Stupider for having her. <laughs> I will not fault any of you for that. Uh, let me just remind you of your commitment to call it uh, the Webernauts. <laughs> one, 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 one of the episodes, one episodes called the Webernauts. The Webernauts. Uh, yes. Uh, although I guess he'll be directing, so he'll be able to determine what that's used for. He's he's promised. Somebody in the chat room saying he hates the idea of one director doing both franchises. I do too. I, I feel that way. Because that one director, that as far as I'm concerned, is batting a thousand. True. Is there anything he's made that you hated? You don't cross the streams, dude. You don't cross the streams. Well, dude, I hope they meld into one stream and then some other bizarro stream comes out. I hope that the two streams my kids argue about are which is better, the Half-Life movie or the Star Trek Star Wars well, franchise. Here, here's, here's, here's what I would say. Mm -hmm. It is... Annoying that we don't get to see, like, uh, I mean, although we will get, I mean, they're not going to stop making Star Trek movies. We're going to get to see another director's take on Star Trek, which I think will be great. But I'm okay with J.J. going to do Star Wars because he always wanted to do Star Wars. He couldn't do Star Wars before, so he took Star Trek and made a Star Wars yeah, he movie. Took, he took Star Trek as a fixer-upper and figure out how to way to supercharge it He's and like, make oh, it as awesome as Star Wars. Let me just try to make a Star Wars movie with Star Trek things yeah. in it. Like, so... Uh, That's exactly right, man. I couldn't agree with you more, Robert. He he only did Star Trek because he didn't think he would ever get a chance to do Star Wars. And he so he made Star Trek like Star Wars, which is why everybody liked it. And it's like, oh, well, I can do Star Wars for real? Okay, well, f*** this franchise. Whoa! That's the Robert belt because you're called Justin <laughs> Robert. Now you go, play the music, play the music. They're trying to find it. Keep it going, keep it going. Cut to the chat. Oh! Keep it, keep it professional. So, I mean, the thing about Swamp Thing is, like, at the end of the movie, he's in the thing, and actually, then they cut off the boy. The there's, what? Actually, there's actually one quote in Swamp Thing that's always stuck with me, and I'm going to get, let me get real for a moment. Everybody, take it down. <laughs> Take, take it down. There's there's this one moment where it's like there's the formula, right? And of course the guy the developing the Swamp Thing formula uh, gets it explodes all over him and he escapes. But then they replicate the formula. They find his formula and uh, they feed it to a guy and the guy becomes like an angry dwarf and like Rah! and then like uh, before he dies, I want to say they're like, what's the secret of the formula? And he says, it only makes you more of what you already are. 
And then they realize, like, you know, that's why this small man became smaller. This is why the swamp thing became a noble creature of the swamp. And uh, I don't know about you, but I feel the same way about alcohol. <laughs> you get a little juice in your system. It doesn't, doesn't make you good or evil. It just makes you more of what you already are. So what I'm saying is, it would be amazing to see Jeff Kanata completely drunk. Because I want to know... <laughs> Like, if you concentrated rad with rad, if you cross-multiplied the multiplier and then raised it to the Jeff degree, would he get canasty or would he get canonical? <laughs> That's what I want to know. I'm going to leave. All and right. You I'm going to bring on. All right. All right. I'm going to talk about the ads. Look. Jerk uh, face. Uh, this is your always saying the nasty. This is, all right. Look. Uh, this is a sponsor that we've not had a while on the show. Uh, it's our friend, those friends over at Ting. I don't know about you, but any time uh, you go to sign up for a plan, there's a bunch of stupidity. They trick you into family plans. They, like, set it up to where it's like you're paying for crap you don't need. And you're like, man, you know what I wish? I wish that my mobile service could be provided by some people who got me. Somebody who were geeks. Somebody who understood the way people think and wouldn't try to screw them over. And that's what our friends over at Ting have done. These are the guys over at Two Cows. They get being a geek. They understand what it means. It's no BS mobile service. That's their, I'm reading straight off of this. They're an MVNO reseller. So it's like as good as Sprint is. Same service as Sprint. Sprint, scratch out the word Sprint. Woo, woo! Oh, the ad dragon's here. No bull spit, bruh. Okay, this is, this is, you almost cursed again. Nah, come on. Hold on now, honey. You gonna criticize me and that little Greek fella and that host you show with? Okay, you gonna like, go tell me that I've been drinking? I, Come on I now, feel honey. Like, feel like, Sugar pie baby bear. I'm trying to tell you what. I'm reading ads. I'll tell you what, Ad Dragon. Look, everybody loves you, but you're really pushing it. We feel like we're concerned about your ability to read the ads effectively. I'll tell you what. How about this being effective? <laughs> No contracts with Ting, baby. You try to go up to Ting and say, hey, is this official? Ting says, nah, baby. No contracts. You do what you want. So you're saying you can change month over month. You can change Anything. it any time. Come on up to Ting. Ting says, let's have a conversation. Let's actually hash this out like adults. OK. Un unlike Justin Robert Young, and lovers. Who, run <laughs> who runs off like a scared little girl every time it's time to do I an know. ad read. I'll tell you what. I just see him shake his narrow behind up and down the, and he's so pouty. Oh, look at me. I'm Justin Robert Young. I'm so upset because I can't <laughs> read the ads now. Oh. OK, let's keep it pro. Ad Dragon, look, the whole reason you got on the show No add-on charges. OK. You sick of that? Yes, I, I am. Yes. <laughs> you come on in. All of a sudden, you look at your bill, and it's like an add-on charge. You're like, who the hell invented that? I didn't agree to that. Ad Dragon, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to cut you off. Please, please tell us no how- No mysterious line <laughs> items in your bill. You ever see, you ever look at your bill, and you're like, who agreed to the, the, the fun the forest line item? Look, here's the thing. AB14. <laughs> Who is that, a bingo number? <laughs> All I'm saying, Ad Dragon, is people want to know how to save $25 on their first Ting device. Well, you just go on over to nsfw.ting.com. That's right, right. nsfw.ting.com. Everybody knows that. Man, it feels really weird to be the one supporting you. This is not how it was supposed to go. NSFW viewers can go ahead and save $25 on their first Ting device when you sign up. Yes. How about that? Uh, yes. Okay, look. Things that we like about Ting. No contracts, no bundling, no overage credits on unused service. If you don't use it, you can still use it later. There's no add-on charges, no mysterious line items on the bill, as you mentioned. Unlimited devices on one plan, like whether it's one person or, or 20 people in your family or 200 people. It doesn't matter if it's a workforce or whatever. And it's a... Uh, uh, Bri, Bri, listen. Let me go ahead and explain the Ting experience. And I'm going I'm to do it slow like mold wine. 
First, you purchase a mobile device from Ting, which you'll receive in two to five business days. Then you activate your device with Ting and have the option to select a new phone number right. or port your existing one. Right. They port it well. That's They, they do. They move it right on over, no trouble Finally, whatsoever. Finally, you select yeah. the monthly minutes, messages, and megabytes plan that you think might represent your usage on Ting, and they'll go ahead and bill you from the beginning of your payment period. That's right. But you will be charged or credited in the following pay period based on what you actually use. Okay, yes, that's Everybody correct. Everybody else, All right, look. you go ahead. They just All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Will, will you cut Ad Dragon's microphone? Cut oh. Ad Dragon. Cut Ad Dragon's microphone. Is he off? Is he up? Okay, good. Uh, listen, there's only a few things we need to know, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you visit Ting today, head on over to nsfw.ting.com. You can save money. You can better manage your mobile phone and usage with Ting. Check out their savings calculator. See how much that you and your money can save. Uh, NSFW viewers get $25 off their first Ting device when you sign up. Head on over to nsfw.ting.com. Uh, allow me and Justin Robert Young to apologize on behalf of the Ad Dragon. Uh, we're not entirely sure what's going on. We, we, we hope that you will show our friends at Ting how much we care about them. Uh, nsfw.ting.com. Or maybe if you can uh, message them on Twitter, just let them know that you really appreciate their support of NSFW. Uh, okay, wow. Did you see that? I mean, <laughs> like, uh, I'm, I'm waiting for you to apologize to me. I, oh, okay, look, Ad Dragon came in. <laughs> it's like, it sounds like Ad Dragon got into your voice there a little bit. It was, it was a little so, bit so weird. So strange. It was, it was a little bit weird, but he let said, me tell I'm you. Like, you to, to I mean, apologize to me. Th I mean, th <laughs> this. <laughs> I think Kanata's trying. Yeah. What's going on, Kanata? You all right there, buddy? I just heard it just it just was funny how you uh it sounds like you swallowed the and dragon a little. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. All right, well, I mean the whole reason this thing started is because Justin went too far in an ad read and he was banned from reading ads. And Man. at first at first I was thrilled because you know, it's like I have a hard time reading the ads by myself and then the ad dragon showed up. And the ad dragon was so good about sticking to the points. But now, I mean Ad Dragon's a little bit kind of all over the map. Well, I mean, listen, like, I, I don't know what, you, you're coming to me with that. I, you bring in some Yahoo, doesn't know the show, doesn't know the reads. Can I point out something? I don't know if anybody has pointed this out. Yeah. What? Has anybody noticed that you never see Ad Dragon and Leo Laporte in the same place at the same time you know what this is actually a really good point because i was going to bring this point. up and i'm glad yeah. i'm glad jeff brought it up first. i'm listen uh, like i mean obviously you can't say anything the guy runs a network but like you know i mean on the one hand but but i mean isn't that the whole story the whole tony stark like well he's busy running stark enterprises sure yeah. so it's just like you know like oh no the ad dragon is just leo's bodyguard that's exactly. why yeah you always see the ad Number dragon one, around i got banned one day the next day ad dragon just shows up it's not like he's been a popular person around the podcasting field in the Bay little, Area. It's a little bit weird. All of a sudden, he's on all the shows. Who's got that kind of sway? I'll tell you what. Here's the thing. There's only one way to settle this down. <clears throat> and I'm not going to say that the Ad Dragon is or is not our good friend and mentor, Leo Laporte. But I am going to say that if Ad Dragon has what it takes, he will accept Justin Robert Young's challenge. I've this challenged him. March yeah. 9th. Are you, you're not coming to South by Southwest, are you? No. Yeah. But I will if uh, if you guys are going to expose Leo Laporte as Ad Dragon. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We will expose Ad Dragon once and for all. We're doing an event at South by Southwest. We're calling it South by So Wasted 2. It's our second year. Robert, doing are, you gonna de are you going to debate Ad Dragon? No, oh, no, no. Listen. No. Face here's, off, here's showdown. What's going down. Okay, no. The, the, you, God, you, all right, let's let's do this. Go ahead and God tell damn, me. Here's what's happening. <clears throat> March 9th, Austin, get like go to my single. Where am I at? Here we go. March 9th, Austin, Texas, at the Eastern, South by So Wasted 2. All right, now first of all. All I've ever had, all I've ever had is love and devotion for this show. I have a usurper, the Air Dragon. Tries to come in here and do what I do. Read the okay, ad. Okay, all right, all right. Sell product. Right, bring it down, I bring it down. I am going to Justin. challenge him to an ad reading Justin, contest. Justin, calm it down. Look, here's all that matters, all right? 
Uh, Twit is not going to South by South Southwest, but do you know who is? We will be there doing an NSFW show event. We're going to have Ali Spagnola doing her Power Hour, which you've seen before. Hour, Everybody yeah. loves it. It's on Gizmodo. It's on all the, the famous shows of the world, <clears throat> which is a network, the famous shows famous. of the world. Hello and welcome <laughs> to, to the famous, famous shows of, of the world. world. Uh, uh, we're going to have our friends from the Possum Posse. That's right. Jomo and the D-Bags will be there. The guys who did Guy on a Buffalo. We're going to be doing a go game with our friends at Spill.com. You guys like Spill.com? You like Corey Coleman when he's on the show? All of that's happening. Jay Adelson just RSVP'd to our event. Number one, it, it's the hottest party at South by Southwest. It's March 9th. It's at the Eastern. And there, I'm actually putting it all on the line. Uh... And this has been maybe the longest running NSFW uh, challenge. Cha uh, just point is Bit. that I'm not on the art. Okay, you're saying you're going to face off against the Ad Dragon I'm in an Ad Read showdown? I'm putting, and with your blessing, if you agree to it, All right, no. I say the winner of the Ad Read Off between me and the Ad Dragon. Live on stage? Live on stage. Justin. At the Eastern. All right, hold on, hold on. Yes. Shh, hold on, Justin, look. You know I love you, man. Uh, and Ad Dragon was clearly drunk tonight, but I mean, we're talking about face on the art. You wanted face on the art since the very beginning of the yeah, show. Yeah, I know. You've been crying about it like a little baby. I have. And then you're just like, you're gonna put it on the line? Brian? If Ad Dragon wins this, Ad Dragon's face is on the art. It's time for me to earn it. Dude, you, I don't think you can do this. I'll tell you what, I'll go even further. What? If Ad Dragon, this is a this is a loser leaves town match. Okay, I'll tell you what. If I, if if Ad Dragon beats me, he's the new permanent co-host on NSFW. Oh, don't, no, don't 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 be this way. Come on, don't don't do this. Don't do on this. On NSFW. Come on, and Justin. He gets his face on the art. All right, I'll tell you what. What happens if you win? There we go. Uh, okay, J Jammer B. Now Bacon you're just trolling. gay in the morning. Come on, Jammer B. This is he can't handle this. He's in some kind of fragile fugue state. He can't do this. He doesn't know what he's saying. He's he's had a growl. He's got a growler in front of him. Look, okay, Justin. Let me let me just implore you. Uh, if you do this, if you offer this challenge... Gotta do it, Brad. Justin. Gotta do it. There's no going back from this. No. We'll cross the Rubicon. It's going down. All right, well, me, I'll tell you me, what. Give me the single. It's official. Just, just... Yeah, this I'm is your... you this. All right, whoa, no, no. Look Look, at, whoa, 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 whoa. Look right here. See People, I have nothing to do with this. This is not me. I, I recommend against this. I don't want Justin to put himself out there. I don't want him to just... I'll leave the show. Okay, all right, fine. This, you, I will say, leave the get, show. I'm not talking. If I can't beat talking. the ad dragon, I'm not talking. Fine. I'll leave the show. What do you think about that? Talk talk to the camera. What do you think about that? Talk to the camera. Just saying. So, this is between You'd you and... You'd love it, wouldn't I'm, you? This is between you and ad You'd dragon. You'd love it. I don't have nothing to do with the idea. You just want to lick okay, his stop. mask. This is dope. Now you you're just, just want to get hurtful. right up in his teeth. Stop it. Stop oh. it. You're being hurtful and this oh. is unnecessary. You got a challenge. Dragon. You got a challenge. Even you take it up with the Addy. You wasted on the show okay. today talking stop. about don't man you, thighs. Don't you, don't you turn this oh. on me. You talk to the Ad I'm Dragon. Brian. Talk to that dragon. I love the Ad Dragon. Oh. You got something you want to say? Yeah. Ad Dragon. Telling you this. My, <laughs> hold on, wait. It looks like we have a commentary here. Hold on. Uh, 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 sir, who are you? Me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you. Uh, nobody. Just uh, fill it in for Jeff. You had to take off for a second. <laughs> um, well, Sorry. thank you. <laughs> 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 I thought it was another. Right, I thought that was the hand dragon. <laughs> I thought it was another dragon came in for a second. Worried, uh, I was worried you were gonna cut back right. to me. And, do, you, do, you have a, do you have a do you have a do you have a challenge? You want you want to talk to to go ahead and lay her down lay down your challenge. No no no. no. Listen, I'll tell you what. Uh, here's what's gonna happen. March 9th, I'm going to read all the ads amazingly on stage, and then Ad Dragon's gonna get up there and be all like. Hey, girls! But that's not what he it's said. It's me, Ad Dragon. Okay, it does. Don't don't put I'm, words in. I love. Shh, 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 shh. To All right, come kiss on, come boys. on, come on. That's it. Good. Issue your challenge. Get this over with. So let's go. It's going down. March 9th, the Eastern. In fact, 
I want everybody to show your solidarity for understanding that I'm going to dominate the ad dragon. Just go ahead and go to uh, nsfwshow.com slash sxsowasted. South by So Wasted, nsfwshow.com slash sxs wasted south by so or sxso we should have made this easier to sx 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 so wasted yeah sx so, so wasted. wasted and make sure to rsvp we need those rsvps uh and that's it the challenge has been out there it's really in the ad dragon's hands whether or not he's going to show up i don't think he'll show up i don't think the ad well, he's here no he's probably well, you'll passed be there. out you'll be there every time you show up he he runs and you run away every time he shows up you don't think we don't notice that he won't be there. You'll be there, he won't. We'll see. All right. Uh, Jeff. JeffCanada.com on Twitter is where everybody wants to go to follow news about whatever this project is. Who knows? Yes. Tomorrow. Yeah. Be there or be not there, but be there is a better choice. <laughs> this is, all right, look. You need a hype man, Jeff. You need somebody to go like full. You're the best hype man. I can't possibly. You know what you uh, How could I possibly? I'll tell you what. Whether it's Justin or the Ad Dragon, you get one of them. Whoever's oh, I get kicked, the loser. Get whoever's the loser. kicked off this show, you get to promote for you. Yeah. I've always, I, the, I get your table scraps. I'm loving that. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean it that way. Well, all right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what your mother ever know about Jeff Kanata? Used to host a totally rad show. Now he's totally all up on Kickstarter asking for Yodo. You're going to get a big, fat, fire pile of commitment. You the backer right now. You green lighting it. Boom. That means go. Go to entertainment for Jeff Kanata. Hit him up on Twitter, at Jeff Kanata. Hit him up on Kickstarter. Make sure we don't get nada in the part where it means money that's coming in. You are going to be the man who makes the dreams. You are going to be the man who makes Jeff Kanata's show happen. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Jeff Kanata hype man. All right, look. Let's You're right, Robert. Music. You're absolutely right. The Ad Dragon would be a better hype man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, uh, start playing the lullaby. We're going to wrap things up here. We got to thank you guys. Uh, Robert Young, thank you so much for being here oh, with shut us. shut up. <laughs> uh, Jeff Kanata's unnamed project that maybe, just maybe, you can help make one episode called The Webernauts. The Webernauts. Tomorrow. To what was, what was so the challenge? Specifically, 24 hours? Uh, yeah, if it is funded in 24 hours... He will do one of the pilot episodes will be called The Webernauts and we'll be featuring yes. the two of us. Brian. All right, we can make that happen. Uh, I guess that's it. Uh, March 9th, we're still looking for people who want to make art for the posters. We're going to blow this thing up. Make sure to head on over in RSVP over at uh, nsfwshow.com slash sxsowasted2.com. Yes, sxsowasted2, the number two, dot com. Now, let me tell you this. I'll tell you what. I'm actually... Ad Dragon, come out here right now. Come out here right now. Oh my god. I'm sick of this. Alright, whoa, 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 Let's settle this. You drop Ryan's computer, you <laughs> drunk beater. You, oh, okay, fine. All right, all right, whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of get out of here. Get out of here, Ad Dragon. Go back to your sauce. Uh, all right, start the music up again. I'm sorry for that, Peace. ladies and gentlemen. That was, uh, we'll save it for March 9th. Uh, look, that's it for this episode Jesus. of NSFW. Uh, we love you guys. Justin, you're out of control, buddy. Jesus, takes it. Let's get my face yeah. like that. All right, Justin, I'm I'm both to get, you, you got to bring it down. You got to bring it down, gentlemen. It's too much. March 9th. At the Easter. March 9th. Love you guys. Die in a fire. See you next Tuesday. Sorry, I'm out of it right now. <laughs> a little bit out of it. <laughs> he just stormed out. Ad Dragon just slammed the door on his way. Yeah. Good rich. Dragger. Dragger's their word. You can't use it. I know. I did. With glee. You scared me. <laughs> We're out. You scared me. <laughs> well, 
Oh, wait. Tony, edit this in. This is the bonus. Ready? This is your bonus feature. Dan Martin has been a friend to this show, friend to the network, friend to the uh, Scam School show. He was the first magician to ever volunteer a trick mm -hmm. for us to do on Scam School, and he is up for a big old fat award. If you go to votefordanmartin.com, you'll see that he is up for Entertainer of the Year on college campuses. He is super amazing, his show is fantastic. All you gotta do is click on it, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll know, and they specifically say, they say, please don't vote in any category where you're not familiar with the artist. You guys are all familiar with Dan Martin because you've seen him on my shows yeah. and, and here on the BB Live show to begin with, right? Uh, go straight on down. Uh, I believe that it matters if you have a .edu address, but yeah. what we want you to do is put in your email address, go ahead and vote for Dan Martin, put it right there at the bottom, give it a big old fat check. Uh, there are a few times I, I don't often brag about what Chat Realm could do. May have bragged to Dan Martin a little bit a about, about what they could do. Yeah. Because he's been, he has campaigned pretty hard for this in the past. Like five years in a row. Because I know that, like, I've helped him on eye tricks and, and stuff like that. And then he's gotten close, but he's never gotten over the hill. Uh, yeah. Now would be probably the best of all opportunities. But he needs your help. So uh, what is the URL again? VoteForDanMartin.com. There we Head go. Head straight on down to the bottom. Vote for Dan Martin. Cheers, Dan Martin. Cheers, Dan Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the doctor. Dr. Bird. This is Dr. Bird. He's <clears throat> tired, so he's angry. I know. He's a little salty, aren't you, doctor? He's putting his head down. He says, why aren't you scratching me? I know, I know. Why don't this you set, a de set down your growler, this is what he drinky? Does when he wants... Pets. I've seen it. Itch. Dr. Bird, who has his Twitter in three, two. Oh, he already has a Twitter. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> what, what's his Twitter? The Dr. Bird. The Dr. The Bird. Dr. Bird. You can follow him on Twitter. He sounds a lot like Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy uh, just shouted, so damn cute. Oh, my ovaries. <laughs> <laughs> like, you get a cramp in your ovaries when something's too sweet. 